what happened to FTX? Here's what I know that happened to FTX. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, was set to bail out FTX, then it pulled out of the deal. Uh, FTX filed for bankruptcy on Friday and Sam Bankman Fried resigned as the CEO. When the cryptocurrency market experienced a $2 trillion cash crash in May, the crypto company FTX offered financial lifeline to several collapsing firms. But this week, FTX needed a bailout which its rival Binance seemed out of cups of delivering. Then Binance reversed itself saying it was pulling out of the deal to acquire the company. Okay, so I'll tell you in a bit, what is FTX and Binance? FTX and Binance are crypto exchanges, meaning they enable customers to trade digital currencies for other digital currencies, okay, all traditional money and vice versa. Uh, the two exchanges pros process the majority of all crypto trades in the world, according to CoinMarketCap, an industry data tracker. Need FTX. FTX, one of the world's largest exchanges, is run by Sam Bankman and is headquartered in the Bahamas, it has spent millions of dollars lobbying American legislators to institute crypto-friendly legislation. Binance, the largest exchange, is run by the billionaire Chang Peng Zhao. The company, which has no official headquarters and largely functions outside of the US, has been scrutinized for skitting regulatory rules. Binance was an early investor in FTX. Both companies have built their businesses on risk trading options that are not legal in the United States. They each have smaller arms, American arms, Binance.us and FTX.us, which are separate from their sister companies and are meant to comply with US regulations. As you know, the crypto industry has, has, has increasingly been the target of regulatory scrutiny on Capitol Hill and across the globe. Mr. Zhao, uh, 45 and Mr. Bank Manfred, who is 30, have publicly have publicly butted heads over how to regulate the cryptocurrency world or whether to do so at all. All right. So why did FTX run into trouble? FTX has a native cryptocurrency called FTT, which trades use, which which user which traders use for options like paying transaction fees. Uh, last year, Mr. Zhao sold his stake in FTX back to Mr. Bankman Fried, who paid it, who paid for it partially with FTT tokens. On November 2nd, the crypto publication CoinDesk reported on a leaked document that appeared to show that Almeda Research, a hedge fund run by Mr. Bankman Fried, held an unusual large amount of FTT tokens. FTX and Almeda are meant to be separate businesses, but the report claimed they had close financial ties. Binance announced on November 6th that it would sell its FTT tokens due to recent revelations. In response, FTT prices plummeted and traders rushed to pull out of FTX, fearful that it would be at another foreign crypto company. FTX scrambled to process requests request for withdrawals, which amounted to an estimated $6 billion over three days it seemed to enter a liquidation a liquidity crash meaning it lacked the money to fulfill requests okay so how did binance intervene on tuesday binance said it had reached an agreement to bail out ftx by buying the company but mr zhao added in the announcement binance has the discretion to pull out of from the deal at any time in a concurrent announcement, Mr. Bankman tried said that deal would protect customers and allow FTX to finish processing their withdrawals. He attempted to dispel rumors of conflict between FTX and Binance, adding, we are in the best of hands. Alright, so why did the deal between Binance and FTX unravel? Okay, on Wednesday, Binance announced it would no longer buy FTX, saying it had arrived at that decision as a result of corporate due diligence. It also cited regulatory investigations and reports of mishandled funds. Every time a major player in an industry fails, retail consumers will suffer, Binance said in a statement. We have seen over the last several years that the crypto ecosystem is becoming more resilient and we live in time that outlies that misuse user funds will be weeded out by the free market. Okay. On Thursday, FTX announced it had reached an agreement with Tron, a blockchain, a platform to swap certain tokens from FTX to other crypto wallets. Why has the FTX situation affected the crypto markets? Okay, this is my last session.
Like this is this is my last question. Why has the situation affected the cryptocurrency market? The cryptocurrency market industry has long suffered, has long struggled to convince regulators, investigators, and ordinary customers that it is trustworthy. The fall of FTX, which seemed more stable than other companies, and the pullout by Binance have jolted the market. FTT's price has fallen about 80% since Tuesday. The prices of Bitcoin and Ether, some of the most valuable tokens, have both flucu fluctuated, fluctuated widely since Tuesday, at one point dropping more than 20%. So that is what happened with our FTX and we hope uh, they managed to figure it out and then get back to business because they were really a good player in the uh, crypto world. but. Uh, they've been doing some shady businesses and that's what happened so remember to give me a like subscribe and share this is crypto with kabaka timo let's go pa -pa -pa -pa. yes he did it he bought he went to dump it <laughs>